Bienvenue <rire> Dans 50 secondes, on va regarder ce magnifique stream des développeurs avec... Euh... Est-ce qu'il y a vraiment Ben J'avais cru comprendre qu'il serait pas là. Bien sûr, si on regarde Ben, on regarde Ben avec une bière. Mais euh, je crois qu'il va peut-être pas être là. On verra. Je vais faire le traducteur. Si besoin. <coughs> oh Putain, on va encore s'amuser. Euh, un skin Gundam mais on pardonne tous les bugs. Putain, ça serait bien. Par contre, je sais pas si je vais devoir augmenter le son. On verra. Je l'augmenterai par, euh, par OBS si besoin. Je crois que le son est assez bas, je vais augmenter. On va voir quand ils vont parler. Ouah, c'est trop bien en thème On va être... On va être objectif et tout ça, on va être sympa, hein. On va pas cracher sur, directement sur tout. Hello everyone, welcome to another Anthem livestream. My name is Jesse Anderson, one of two community managers on Anthem. Uh, today on the sticks, we've got AJ, so I will not... Y'a pas bad, c'est nul We have a very special guest today. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Chris Schmidt. I am the lead systems designer on Anthem. And we're going to tell you about some cool stuff coming up. All right, so uh, can we swap to the gameplay? So as you see here, uh, we're in Fort Tarsus. Uh, Chris, do you want to talk about a new thing we got coming up? Wow, yeah, je veux so son argent. Have Elysian Cash is coming. Il y a des nouveaux Elysian trucs aussi. Caches are... Yeah. Uh, caches at the end of strongholds right, at, right after you kill the boss and they require a key to open. So how do I get a key? Uh, well, every single day there's one daily that rewards you a key and one of the changes we've made is uh, if AJ hits the daily trials here, it actually shortcuts you straight to show all of your dailies. Uh, previously there was like one panel that showed you Donc c'est une clé par jour apparemment, uh, il y a une exactly mission here, journalière pour récupérer une uh, clé. So if he clicks into legendary contract here, I can see, yep, there's the key. Ouais. Uh, c'est les clés pour ouvrir les key, boîtes. Hein. Um, I can go into a stronghold and open a chest, and what happens is it gives me a piece of uh, vanity or crafting mats uh, for everyone that is present. So it, one chest will spawn something for all four people. Um, I can always see on my HUD, uh, you'll also notice next to coin, if you back out all the way, uh, that I have a little icon there. Une clé par jour, c'est pas beaucoup. Hein. Up in the upper left-hand corner there. C'est pas beaucoup. Coins. Two million coins. Well done. Wow, someone's been hoarding. <laughs> um, so it's after the boss. You said in a stronghold that that happens. Yeah. So the chests won't spawn in until you kill the boss, and then uh, instead of that quest countdown timer or mission countdown timer that hits right now, you have a little bit of time to go open the chests. Um, if everyone opens a chest, everyone gets all four uh, pieces of, uh, of cash uh, loot. Or if only one person has a key, that's cool too. Everyone still benefits. Uh, so this is for a limited time. So uh, you want to get in there. You'll never Donc get tout le monde va récupérer même si tu uh, rapportes pas de clés. To these chests. So once you get it, you've gotten it. It's not gonna. There's no dupes or anything like that. Uh, and there's lots of crafting mats in there. There's bundles of I think 30 masterwork embers at a time. Uh, so good stuff in there to go chase. Mais bon, dans un sens, t'es limité à une question. seule clé uh, par jour, donc bon, c'est normal. Why do we want to kill the boss right now? I see a lot of community feedback of ah. it's not worth it to kill the boss. So do we have yes, to exactly. this we're doing to boss loot? I mean, I heard everyone loves the monitor so much that all they want to do is kill the monitor in Heart of Rage. Uh, but no, abs absolutely. <laughs> uh, so uh, I had indicated also uh, on uh, on Reddit, I think, I think we've talked about it a little bit, that there were a number of issues there. Uh, but... So uh, we've we've heard your feedback. We've we've looked at the problem, and, and there's a few things. The first of which, a... uh, not re loot related, is we're not going to let you start into a stronghold more than about two minutes into it. Uh, so no more starting at the monitor. I'm really sorry. I know that that was that's a bummer. Uh, but the loot itself. Wow. Uh, previously on bosses, we had like one guaranteed masterwork, or depending on the on the difficulty. So GM2 would have a couple. 
Uh, but as as everyone noted, that also prevented you from rolling a legendary. So what we've done <laughs> is <laughs> tous les gens sur uh, YouTube still maintain that tous one menti, masterwork. But uh, we we do additional rolls on the boss now, and it's uncapped. So you have a gr good chance of a legendary, uh, and you should see more things coming off the boss. Um, in addition to that, uh, the chests that you see around uh, in strongholds, in uh, even in free play. Uh, they've gotten a little bit of a boost as well, so you should see some more items coming from those. I think that's a pretty, pretty bon, solid. Bon, ça y est, ils ont sauvé Antenne. C'est bien, c'est bien. Um, c'est bien. All right, so where we're at right now, uh, AJ, can you go ahead and go into the forge? Uh, pour résumer, maintenant les boss peuvent donner des légendaires, ce qui est nouveau. Apparemment, ils pouvaient okay. pas le faire, comme well, je l'avais dit. Hein, tous les gens sur, so qui ont commenté now, sur okay, YouTube, c'est des cons. C'est des cons. Et on ne pourra plus euh, commencer les forteresses euh, si elles ont commencé depuis plus de deux minutes. On ne pourra pas atterrir au milieu d'une forteresse ou atterrir devant un boss. Ça y est, c'est fini, ça. C'est enfin fini. C'est énorme. Oh, on peut aller dans notre forge directement sans, sans chargement. Oh yes, on the, on the side now you can see all the components you've got equipped so you don't have to go in. Sans temps de chargement, yeah! Equipped, you can just see it from right here. So yeah, this is one of those examples of, uh, you know, what, what Chad's talked about and a number of people that we have these, we have a lot of issues that we want to solve that take some time, uh, but we want to do incremental steps to get us there. And so this is one of those incremental steps that, to improve kind of game flow, lessen loads, um, show you more information about your things. And so these things will continue to add up over time uh, until we get to where we want to be. Yep. All right, so now Maintenant, on voit les composants en plus. Bon, yep. C'est pas énorme, is, uh, mais bon. Missions. So we talked about this a little Ça, c'est nouveau, les missions légendaires. Um, but essentially, legendary missions are uh, crit path, you know, missions that you've done before. Once you did them once, that was it. You could never go back and do them again. Uh, so we've made the ability now where Once a day, there will be a legendary mission available, and it just cycles through randomly which one it'll be every day. Good news is you can run it as many times as you want. So if you're like, oh, I already ran it, but a friend needs it, you can still run it again um, and still get rewards at the end. Uh, I believe there's a chest you get at the end? There's a chest at the end. Um, there's also what we've done is put in at least one uh, apex creature, and what an apex creature is is either like an Ursix, a Titan, a Luminary, or a, uh, what am I missing? Missing something. Fury. Uh, <laughs> is it, yeah, lumi the, Luminary. Ursix, Titan, Luminary, Fury. and Fury. Yes, yeah, that's great. Uh -huh. uh, so, so yeah, what we've done is added those to the end, those essentially are bosses <laughs> that roll into some nice uh, loot tables. Donc apparemment, y a so, les missions légendaires anyway, sont des missions d'histoire la plupart du temps, qui vont être différentes chaque jour. The, the et... Column, which is euh, c'est une, une grosse mission et ils vont rajouter des petits boss à l'intérieur, donc des Xurxix, des Fury, etc. Et vous récupérez un coffre à la fin. During the mission, we've actually amped up all the encounters. We've, Il y en a que quatre, sont pas capables de les citer tous. Basically, balance them to a full party, and we've made the encounters more difficult. So, if you've noticed a difference between, say, a contract and a legendary contract, that's That's sort of the difference you can expect, except these things are tuned just below stronghold. So uh, they should be a new uh, kind of pretty challenging piece of uh, piece of content. And uh, I believe we are coming out with six uh, different missions. And as Jesse said, there will be one available each day, but you can run it as many times as you'd like. Next day, new mission. Uh, run that as many times as you like. Yep. So now we've uh, we've jumped in here to Apparemment, ce sera un peu plus difficile qu'un contrat et tout ça. C'est pas mal. So, nice and out there. Um, but yeah, if you just want to get started here AJ and we'll we'll start showing how how it's changed a bit. So, Alors, yeah, qu'est-ce qui a changé? Harder enemies now, they're up in difficulty. Um, so did you talk about how I don't I wasn't sorry. Half was paying attention on seeing what chat was saying, but basically Uh, enemies now are, are, are leveled up, essentially, right? So yeah. if they were a regular Ur-6 before, it might be a legendary Ur-6 or... Yep, exactly. And so... Party libs sont plus durs. We've basically added in, um, not only along the way, making the encounters a little more difficult, but at least uh, if there was a former, let's say, named uh, encounter, uh, like, you know, a named boss, 
uh, now it's an actually named uh, large boss. Like if it was maybe a Scar before, now perhaps it's a it's an Ascari Elder or uh, you know a Titan or something. Ouais, like en gros, tout a so plus ou moins évolué. Si c'était un monstre normal, c'est devenu plus ou moins un petit boss, un truc comme ça. Added last week, uh, which still apply to everything. Um, so yeah, it should be a good time. It should be a, a, a decent challenge. And so, uh, for those that didn't catch it, they are playing on GM1. Uh, so everyone is pretty geared up in this group. Um, we'll see if anybody dies. AJ's already, already taken some damage. Uh, I don't know where Parce qu'on sait que le, les parties rapides sont uh, beaucoup le plus... Non, les parties libres, pardon. Job. Genre l'exploration. Uh, so beaucoup plus facile que les forteresses, mais maintenant ça a augmenté, donc c'est bien. Coming in our next update, which is we've kind of already established now what our updates are going to go by. So last one was uh, 1.03 or 1.0.3. Mm -hmm. I just say 1.03. It's a little quicker. So 1.04 is our next update, uh, which we're aiming for it to come out next week. Um, as we get closer, we'll share a date of when that's going to land exactly. But um, so I guess we can kind of jump into some of these uh, these notes. So the first, yep. well, we'll skip that one. I want to. I want to save that one for when AJ is not getting murdered, and we can <laughs> we can have him show some some cool things there. But um, so for one, a lot of people have been asking about NVIDIA DLSS support. Mm -hmm. uh, it's here. It arrives next update. So yep. for those of you with the RTX cards, it's your lucky day. Oh, so AJ RTX. is safe. He's safe. Can you go show us a new setting under video What's for that? PC players? Qu'est-ce uh, qu qu'on a de nouveau pour le PC Field of view. view. Is that FOV? Look at that. Um, oh, so wow, ils ont rajouté le FOV. FOV. Oh, putain. Ground, zoom, Yay. Power, to read them all. But, um, Il était really temps. Cool. Uh, we, we were bien. super happy to be able to get this in for you all. It's been very much a requested feature. Um, and so, yeah, it's coming in 104 next week. Yeah, yeah. So if you Semaine want, prochaine, you want to go, like, ground, la, la 1.0.4. Uh, to show, like, just how much on pourra changer le FOV. Just, like, bien. just crank it, it up. Just crank it to 100. Um, it's, it's, I mean, that's really cool. If you like being able to see, you know, Ooh, ça fait limite un effet de, de fichage. En whatever fait. you want to play, like, if you like sympa. seeing your feet. If you like you seeing know, your feet. Maybe that you're, um, let's see what chat says. They're, they're kind of, they're kind of blowing up. They're like, ah. Euh, c'est quoi le FOV not, not Field of View C'est quoi en français <laughs> Je me rappelle plus. Euh, <laughs> c'est quoi les mots en français Champ de vision. Waouh, c'est joli du coup. Là, tu vois vraiment pas mal de... C'est peut-être un peu trop, honnêtement. C'est peut-être un peu trop. Là. Le mec, il l'a mis à 100%, c'est peut-être un peu abusé. Ça fait un petit effet de déformation. Mais c'est sympa. Sympa de l'avoir ajouté. Plus il est grand, plus ça a tendance à déformer le bord de l'image. Ouais, là, 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 on le voit quand même. C'est kind of intéressant. So the patch note is we've improved performance on gameplay effects that we're updating. Uh, or running often to reduce performance strain. So, for example, things like weather, the time of day, the UI. Um, I don't know how that is really on the back end, but basically it's done in a way now that should help improve performance for some players. Yeah, and, and when we say we're always improving performance, that, that's true. Uh, there's, all, you know, no one's ever finished, and so th we have some changes here that, that should improve uh, your experience, and, and we're just going to, you know, keep doing it every single patch. Uh, we're always looking for opportunities to improve in performance. So this is just one of those steps. Est-ce que ça bouffe en performance so en théorie non? We can grab a question. Stream if you guys have any questions, try to not spam them. Uh, makes it a little harder to read. Uh, we're looking on questions both from Twitch and Mixer. Uh, so we each have uh, our source of truth to pull questions from. Yep. Uh, let's see what we got here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, people asking about, you know, performance increase like we just spoke about that of how we're always looking to Les performances ont aussi été améliorées, ils l'ont dit. Um, des, des gens qui posent des questions sur Mixer, j'en sais rien. <laughs> Any more to the story? Uh, I'll answer that one. So, for some people who look at social media, um, a lot of the uh, actors who portray the characters in Anthem were recently doing another mocap session. 
So I think that kind of speaks, you know, that we're, we're doing more story. Yep. Ouais, il va y avoir um, plus d'histoires aussi, sûrement dans des DLC like, oh, ou des rajouts. Kind of on va better. avoir plus d'histoires pour Anthem aussi. Faut qu'Owen y revienne. C'était le seul personnage intéressant. Yeah, I see something about um, salvaging. Um, uh, we've made uh, salvaging a little snappier um, in the vault, I believe. Yep. Um, but again, that's just one one step in the right direction. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of things we want to do there. Uh, but hopefully, you'll see you'll see a difference where you can pretty rapidly. The, the way I understand it now, ah oui, avant c'était un Ursix, maintenant c'est un légendary Ursix. Almost the same time as cool. just you know, salvaged it straight from your menu after an expedition. So now yeah. it actually will be, as you tap it, it's pretty much instant. Yep. So it should be way faster. Uh, so ah, énorme pour uh, démanteler les objets. Out, Maintenant, ça va être instantané au lieu de devoir presser. Uh, ça va être cool. Genre, tu fais tac, tac, tac pour démanteler maintenant, au lieu de presser pour chaque objet. talked about in the community a lot, where people are, you know, they're playing an Interceptor, and they finally get a Legendary, and then it's for Colossus. Team's looking into it, what's going on there. Uh, I don't have any answers yet, just team is aware and they're... Apparently it's a bug to recover the components that are not for your javelin. They are trying to look at where the problem is. Because apparently they don't know where the problem is. It's inadmissible, but it's not grave. We have the habit. Any new enemies or bosses coming in the future? I'm sure there will be something down the road. Always looking to expand the game. Yeah, we're not talking specifics, but... But yeah, I mean, we're we're interested in in, in those things too. Uh, it's important to expand, you know, the game world and to improve the experience. So uh, we're, we're definitely doing doing both of those things. All right. So let's see. Um, I will jump into a few more of the other the other notes we've got here. So also, this is just a preview of some of the stuff for the notes. This isn't everything that we're talking about. Bienvenue à tous ceux qui viennent de rejoindre au passage. Désolé si j'ai loupé quelques personnes. Quand on a fini de mettre les notes ensemble, il y avait 13 Word Doc pages. C'est vrai. Donc c'est beaucoup. Très détaillé, beaucoup de changements pour les composants pour les javelins. Pretty much buffs across the board. Une bonne grosse wyvern légendaire qui se fait one shot quand tu la gèles. Ça serait énorme. Oui, je vois que quelqu'un a demandé sur les murs de fog. Oh, look at that's the next one I have on my notes here. Oh, it's actually. Oh yes, he va parler des des murs invisibles. Everyone loves fog walls. No, so we we've done a pass and removed a lot of fog walls, especially the the biggest defenders in strongholds. So we're pretty confident you should not run into many, if at all. But okay, apparently they've only. You know, there's always a chance there's one left. They've only removed. You know, we've I think we've we've hit almost all of them. Yeah. Yep. Definitely some improvements there. Uh, and for cool. players that cool, are cool. running into that issue in Temple of Scar, if you yeah. do get stuck, you can select to respawn on your squad after the encounter's finished. It will move you ahead. Yeah, um, you can go to your map and then. Yep. Sauf si des fois t'as pas l'option. Ça m'est arrivé une fois. Respawn and it'll just put you right into the right. Mais bon, yep. d'accord. It's right spot. just a temporary until it's fixed and the the update. Okay, ça ça va être fixé les, um, les fog walls. See, what else do we got? So we're, we're still working on quick play, improving that uh, with a lot of. Toujours the des problèmes sur quick play, c'est bien. Reporting. They get in there. That Dominion spy, like I joke around, that he was hiding really, really good because you couldn't couldn't find him. But so a lot of those issues fixed. And as an extra precautionary, what the team has done is once a quick play mission has reached a 15-minute timer, you can't match make into it anymore. So if ah okay. C'est franchement, ça allait faire ça depuis le début. Donc si une mission a commencé depuis plus de 15 minutes, tu vas pas pouvoir la rejoindre parce que ça c'est extrêmement chiant en fait. Les gens qui sont euh, qui n'arrêtent pas de rejoindre, quitter, rejoindre, quitter, rejoindre, rejoindre quitter la même, euh, la, la même mission. Donc du coup, elle reste ouverte, mais pendant genre une heure, elle reste ouverte. Ça, c'était vraiment un gros problème. C'était une grosse plaie sur Anthem. Ils auraient dû vraiment le résoudre depuis le début, quoi. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one was interesting. People brought to my attention. I was like, oh, we're already fixing it. Cool. Uh, so if you were in a down state and you got your 30 second timer counting down and someone attempted to uh, revive you. Oh, no. And then they stopped, <laughs> your timer would go back up to 30 seconds. So that's ah, fixed. Avais, avais parlé, ça. Uh, so now that doesn't happen anymore. Ah, tu peux plus reset less le annoying. timer des gens less, qui sont par terre. Annoying. Donc yep, tu peux pas faire comme moi, être un connard. Like, oh. Et uh, garder les gens au sol. <rire> Merde. <rire> ah, j'aimais bien ça, moi. Quand les mecs, ils savent pas jouer, tu les gardes au sol. C'est marrant. Salut, tonton, bienvenue. Uh, 
Um, hey, Benny, so bienvenue. We're always looking to improve stability on, on that front. Yep. Um, oh yeah, here's another one that would randomly affect players. Being able to Ça reste toujours une mauvaise idée, ce timer, so oui, je suis d'accord. Sometimes there'd be that one player in the group, they would be unable to interact with anything, whether it be reviving another player or a room, a room or anything, yeah. they, they wouldn't be able to, so that is also fixed. A um, couple of nice changes uh, that as we see uh, AJ kind of flying around. Uh, we've increased for all javelins the max thrusters by about 20%, and we've decreased uh, the overheat duration. That one is by 20%. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, when, when you do overheat, ils ont augmenté you le temps de vol et le et ils ont diminué le temps de surchauffe yep, so, des javelins. Uh, you know, especially with with the, the storm pas mal. players like myself. C'est pas mal. That's a big one. <laughs> that helps quite a bit. Yep, yep. So like yeah, that went down pretty quick and c'était pas vraiment un problème, honnêtement, mais bon. Les gens doivent sûrement se plaindre qu'on puisse pas voler assez longtemps, donc euh, bah voilà. En gros, le tempête, il peut rester 100% en l'air, quoi. Sûrement. Oh, yeah, and AJ doesn't have components. There's, there's a, I believe there's a universal component added in 103 that increased, like, flight duration by another 50%. So, I mean, with that combined, you can just really fly around for a long time. Yep. Um, I see a lot of people asking about, at least on Mixer, uh, <laughs> about waypoints on the map. Um, you know, we talk in general about, uh, we, know, we, we want to improve the nonverbal communication tools in Anthem, and that would include everything from, uh, you know, like waypoints on the map or a way to communicate with somebody that's not just, you know, miming an emote. Uh, so, voler plus longtemps, you know, ouais. Definitely on our radar. Definitely things we're, we're looking into and building to. I don't have any specifics to share, uh, but we hear you, uh, and, and we're working towards it. So, interesting thing, AJ was, I know what he was trying to show me, and, and, <laughs> and Camden there also, they're, they're just spinny boys right now. But um, he's not pressing the button multiple times, so an improvement we've made, uh, we heard player feedback, they don't like having to mash all the time. Uh, so once you start mailing with the interceptor, you can just press it once and hold it, and you can just change the direction ah, apparemment avec l'intercepteur maintenant tu peux seulement presser la touche de mêlée et l'intercepteur en fait va faire que taper, taper, taper au lieu de devoir presser plusieurs fois la touche. Honnêtement je sais pas qui a dû se plaindre de ça mais ça sert à enfin, Je sais pas, tu tapes plusieurs fois, tu presses plusieurs fois, c'est un peu intuitif, c'est un peu bizarre. Oh yeah, I just wrote a note here. Lots of changes Sinon, ils sont en train de travailler sur un système de communication oh, autre que la, la voix. Uh, Donc peut-être un chat écrit, un truc comme ça. Mais ce sera plus tard. Vous augmentez la défense de tous les javelins target Oh mon dieu, c'est horrible le FOV là comme ça. Ils ont parlé d'un fusil à pompe, c'est un nouveau qui rajoute ou qu'est-ce qu'ils ont fait Un peu bizarre. Cool, cool. All right, well we can, uh, yeah, whenever you're ready, because I know there's more to this mission afterwards, um, and I'm sure players would like to see how it ends. Um, also, it'd be like, show us how it ends. Uh, let's see, any more cool? Can you guys buff more masterworks? Um, I want to say some of the masterworks are being buffed also. I was looking through the notes. Yeah, there's um, a whole lot of specifics uh, which makes up a lot of the pages of the patch transport notes. Transport to mission aérien. Especially for individual que items. I see a lot of individual items being asked about. Um, I oh, c'est la légendaire. Top of my head, but there's a whole lot of, of fixes there and buffs. Yep. Uh, there was one, there was a fix. I remember uh, it was the, was it Vault of... The one that was for storms was was broken, where they didn't get the the buff that's fixed. Mm -hmm. I know for storms it was like it just wasn't applying the right bonuses. Yeah. Uh, so that one's been fixed. Um, let's see what else. You read that? You read that? We talked about that. We talked about a lot of this stuff. I'm trying to remember. I should have put more here. I knew there was more notes, but um, let's see. Also, spoiler if you haven't seen this scene before. Gosh, AJ. 
C'est ça le, le contrat légendaire, enfin la mission légendaire, pardon. Par contre, c'est un peu emmerdant parce que tu vas trop taper les cinématiques. Enfin, je, je crois que, tu peux, que tout le monde peut la passer, à la limite. Oh, ok donc c'est les composants en fait pour des armes. Genre si tu touches euh, avec plusieurs plombs d'une cartouche de fusil à pompe, tu vas rajouter l'effet acide. C'est des composants en fait que tu rajoutes pour les armes. Fait que tu rajoutes sur ton javelin et ça sera pour les armes. And, uh, and, you know, inevitably, sometimes at the last second, there's a thing that'll pop up. Uh, but, you know, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot of work to try to find the act, all of the little pieces uh, to fix. But, you know, we're working hard and, we're, and we understand the frustration and we're just attacking as much bon, as we can. Bon, il fixe des problèmes comme euh, la vie et tout ça qui est démultiplié et tout ça. People are asking about ranger updates. Uh, like I said, all javelins across the board with their... Uh, components and abilities have been pretty much buffed in some way from what I've seen. Um, there might have been one that was like a slight decrease. I'm trying to remember what it was, but um, overall, like everything got pretty, pretty significantly boosted. A couple of abilities changed too. I know there was one on Colossus that made it so when you got hit, it increased like your like heat reduction or something like that, which, you know, was kind of like, oh, okay, that's cool. But now it's when you get hit, you just start doing more damage. Il y a eu des changements sur pas mal de composants apparemment. Ça va être intéressant. Le bouton d'interaction qui marche pas, apparemment, ils l'ont corrigé aussi. Je vois beaucoup de questions sur le scaling. Je vais parler un peu de ça en ligne sur quelques chaînes différentes que nous avons. Mais uh, le scaling problème, en général, il y a beaucoup de pièces à quelques problèmes de issues que nous travaillons towards, right? So, In this game, as I imagine everyone realizes, things like scaling, difficulty, stats, uh, progression, loot, they're all kind of tied together. Uh, and we understand that. And so it's not, there's not really any quick, immediate fixes for that. Uh, but what we did is, again, speaking to you know, what Chad referred to on Twitter, uh, we have a plan, we have a long-term plan, and then we work backwards, uh, and we have these uh, intermittent fixes to get us there. Or not intermittent, sorry. Uh, <laughs> but these piecemeal fixes to get us there. So it's not a very quick thing to solve, but we are working towards uh, the spot where you know scaling and progression and looting it all feels real nice. Bon, en gros, ils sont en train de travailler sur les problèmes de de l'échelle de de dégâts, de drops, de puissance, de javelin, etc., etc. Progress towards that, and scaling is is one piece of that. So definitely. Apparemment, tout est lié. C'est pour ça que c'est difficile. En tout cas, c'est ce qu'ils disent. People keep asking about it, even though ah, I don't have an answer. But people are asking about luck. If we're looking at luck and what it does, and thinking about it at all. Yeah, we are looking at luck and we're thinking about it. <laughs> um, nothing to share. Uh, I have my opinions about luck, and uh, and they are probably similar to yours. Um, but we're we're just trying to solve it the right way. So uh, yes, absolutely, uh, looking at luck. Cool. Not this patch. Not uh, not but, this patch. It's but yeah. Yep, and I see other people Boy. asking about things we've already talking about. New loading screen, yes. Yeah, so that was an uh, an Elysian cache that you saw there. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, it's a fancy, fancy uh, cache or chest or whatever you want to call it. I'm um, sure people come up with their own unique name for it. 
Yeah, and, and you'll notice uh, it's pretty obvious. It's very similar to Stronghold Chess, so once we do kill the boss um, in, in a Stronghold, you'll see there's the four caches and the icon is there. It's on your compass. Uh, pretty easy to find, uh, so should be no problem there. I see someone asking here, support gear masterwork. So, good question. Uh, team is working on it still. Um, just want to make sure it's, you know, it's good, it's solid, it's not just... Ils sont encore en train de travailler sur le, les équipements de support en orange et en or. Mais ce sera sûrement, moi je dirais mois prochain, je pense. En tout cas, c'est pas pour maintenant. Bienvenue Je l'aime bien Chris, il est sympa. Mais... Il a l'air de savoir de quoi il parle. Who knows what the future holds, but right now it's we got we got our javelins. Uh, people asking about a stat screen, like Ben has said on previous streams. Uh, team is you know looking at all ways we could possibly do that. Yep. Um, I think we agree it's you know something we would like to do, but we're you know we don't want to just throw something together and it you know doesn't meet the quality. Ils sont bar. toujours en train de travailler sur um, une une page yes, pour montrer agreed. toutes les stats du javelin. Uh, and I just saw, sorry I was. Uh, train of thought. I just saw someone ask about the Quint, the uh, Bryn quest bug, which I believe is the one where uh, it disappears off of your map. Uh, if if that's the same one, uh, there's a similar one with strongholds where some people yes. it, it could disappear off your map and you wouldn't be able to pick a stronghold. Uh, we do have that fixed for this next patch, and it should be fixed, I believe. Ah, les choses qui disparaissent sur la map vont être contract. fixées. Moi, une fois, j'ai perdu yeah, une forteresse, j'ai dû faire de la coop pour la récupérer. Mais ça, ça sera fixé apparemment. Ouais, voilà, en gros, moi, c'est ce que j'ai fait avec les gens du Discord. Tu peux m'emmener à la forteresse des Scars Je l'ai perdu. Non, mission. Uh, I believe I could be wrong, and my phone will probably buzz if I am. But I believe if everyone in the party know, uh, no, not for these. So never mind. <laughs> oh, it's in it. Oh. Yeah, but uh, these are only oh, only a couple of the missions have a mid scene cutscene uh, for the legendary mission. On va pas pouvoir skip. So, <laughs> the end, like said, les cinématiques, on peut pas les zapper. Cinematics or cutscenes are are taken out. Oh, so la merde. Since these do rotate each day, and we do have six, um, you know, there's oh. during the week. Oh, la la. Catastrophe. Yeah. All right. Oh, open chest. This is it. This is your moment, man. Ah, open chest. Okay. Voilà, ça c'est nouveau, par exemple. Ça sera pour les missions légendaires. Wow, que de la merde. Bien. Yeah. Woohoo. <laughs> que de la merde. <laughs> It's all your fault. This was on GM1 to where we didn't do uh we didn't increase the uh Ouais, les mecs ils étaient en GM1, donc c'est compréhensible. Ce sera sûrement plus intéressant de le faire en GM2 3. Especially 3. If you can hit if you can hit 3, it's I've seen some players of they'll get two legendaries and like five masterworks from one thing, which it is results may vary. It is RNG on on some of those things, you know. Yep. Uh, you should also start seeing more masterwork embers dropping in general from bosses, especially GM two three. Yep. Um, but also from all from chests in the world. Yeah. So um, it, it does apply to all all yep. chests. Also, did we say how it's not just loot, but you have a chance of getting embers also? Yeah. Like additional embers. So that was. Yep. I thought that was pretty cool. On so va pouvoir récupérer des braises extra, aussi en plus. You know, I think it's like four items you can get. On average, but there's a chance to get even more items and more embers yeah. from them. So, yeah, and it and again, it's uncapped. Um, there's one guaranteed masterwork, but every other role has a chance to be a legendary. Uh, so, 
bosses should feel pretty good, pretty beefy. I love the chat. They're just like, yep, all purples, all blues. But just remember, that was just one. Oh, uh, okay. yeah. Sorry, those drop <laughs> the increased drops from the bosses is uh, coming in the patch next week. Yep. Wow, le mec, il est directement does, dans sa forge. So Ça tue. The increased drops, I, is, I understood it. It does apply to GM 1, 2, and 3. Mm -hmm. It won't apply to normal or hard. Yeah, so correct. So the, there's a chance for more loot, but then for the chance of, like, the higher drops is still just GM 2 and... Yeah, and it's additive, so obviously. Ça faudra tester les boss, hein. Mais ils le disent maintenant que les boss vont pouvoir donner des légendaires, donc c'est bonne nouvelle. Il y aura toujours des masterwork, genre des oranges à 100%, genre GM1, 2 GM2 et 2 GM3 ou 3. Mais il y aura quand même une chance pour un légendaire maintenant. La forge sans, char sans chargement, c'est bien. Hein. Il était temps. Entering into the forge, uh, it's it's a pretty often used thing. So we've essentially made this. If he hits activate forge, it's essentially instant. Yep. Wow, instantané. Also, as you notice, uh, we've been hearing a lot about stat screen as you mentioned earlier. Ils ont enlevé un chargement. C'est bien ça. That point is, we had, you know, all the components in this view. Um, you can see we're building towards uh, a direction there. So definitely intentional. Uh, another thing I know we made some improvements on, I've seen a lot of people reporting the pilot data error. Mm -hmm. um, so we've made some more improvements there. So should it encounter that less frequently? Yeah. Um, so yeah, lots of fixes uh, there that are in next week's patch for sure. Let's see. People want more customization. Um, so actually, uh, I saw some people asking, wondering why we had, I believe it was Storm and Ranger that had the new armor packs. Yep. Uh, and then they're like, okay, well, where's where's Interceptor and Colossus? Uh, they're coming. I believe they're coming with this next update. So, mm -hmm. like, shortly after that, this next update happens, they'll be kind of like that equivalent style yep. for, for those two javelins. Um, someone asked about consumable organization. I believe, um, I believe we have uh, sorting. Uh, by rarity and name as the first step in this patch, uh, automatically sorted. And so, but again, um, and I've, I've commented on this on Reddit, uh, there's a lot of opportunities with consumables, uh, and so this is just one step. Uh, we've heard you on things like, you know, the ability to craft multiple at once, or, uh, you know, how the flow is a little a little strange. Uh, we're, we're working on that and looking into, you know, how we can smooth that whole thing. Il travaille sur les consommables. Donc apparemment, ça sera tout dans... Dans l'ordre maintenant, ce ne sera pas dans le désordre comme avant. Oui, c'est mission légendaire, c'est nouveau. Ils n'ont pas parlé de la taille des, de la cache. I noticed that when playing the other day, like going into the water, out of the water, a lot of people were saying it's kind of jarring and felt stuttery. I did it. It's very smooth and and it's it's pretty cool. Actually, if you could show like find deep some water. water anywhere and show that field of view slider also, um, don't face plant into a puddle. That would not be good. <laughs> um, maybe up there by the fortress of dawn or something. Let's see if there's any other thing. Ouais, y a pas Ben. Je suis dégoûté moi aussi. Ah, uh, Chris est pas mal. Le, le mec sur la gauche, à Chris. Il est pas mal. Il a l'air de savoir de quoi il parle. Jesse, pas, pas trop. Now, people asking what's going on with SLI. I believe that's still being, probably still being worked on. I know Chad talked about that before. Like I had said earlier, if you missed it, DLSS support is added this update. Um, still working on the SLI. Oh, le mec, il lutte pour trouver de... Some little square icons. Oh, what was that guy talking about? Did you have the map open? You're getting wrecked, son. You're getting wrecked, son. Some, some mean things. Oh. Oh, open the map a second. Uh, where you're at right here. Yeah, check out your map. So, you see, now you can... I don't know if we had that before. I don't I, believe so. I don't think we did, but now it shows the area of where a free play event is. Um, si. so oui, il y avait ça déjà avant. Yep. 
Ah, ça non, par contre, quand tu meurs, tu vois pas l'événement. Ah, il veut dire que si t'es de loin, tu peux le voir, s'il est activé sur la map, peut-être Ah, c'est pas mal. Patch ETA uh, next week. Yep. Um, so probably AJ, you just let me down with that loot, man. I'm still in GM1. You're still in GM1. Okay, okay. That's fine. I won't hold it against you. And you're not, yeah, you don't have any luck. Luck is not on your side. It's okay. It's okay. I'm trying hard to find, like, deep water right now. <laughs> <laughs> trying to find the water. Oh, mon Dieu. Tu passes pour un con, mec. Okay, what is this one? C'est aucun des deux qui joue, hein. c'est un mec, c'est un autre mec qui joue. Shortly before, whenever the update drops, like we did before, we post them like the day before. Um, so probably do the same thing again. We want to make sure everything's in there. I know last time people were upset that we didn't have everything in there. Um, so we want to triple check, make sure we aren't missing anything this time. Uh, yep. We are not trying to hide anything. There's just a lot, like I said, 13 pages of notes. Yep. Uh, a lot of moving parts. Uh, we're not we're not ever going to intentionally uh, keep a passion from you, and then we when we realize the mistake, we'll get them out as soon as possible. Which I think we've been. Uh, non non ouais c'est pas le c'est un, sure. une, une autre équipe en fait de quatre personnes qui jouent with, with loot, qui sont à côté d'eux. Like, you know what's the point of GM1 if there's GM2? Um, mm -hmm. There's also a lot of people you know if they're not quite ready for GM2 and they just get in there and get stomped right away. Uh, GM1 is a good. Uh, Oh yes, yes, we can show an image of that in, the, in a second. Um, but basically, running a strongholds now on GM1 also will uh, yield more loot. Right, so, absolutely. So strongholds are, are probably, I'd say, the best way to get loot after the update. Um, yeah, and the changes we made last week uh, do apply to all difficulty modes, which is those legendary creatures mm -hmm. dropping uh, more and, and better loot. So yep. that still applies. But yeah, like, I can't wait to get in there and try and, and see the changes on the bosses. Because I was one of those people who would quick play into Heart of Rage, and I would kill the monitor every time. <laughs> I stuck around. I did not leave. Doing yeah, a Jesse, c'est un vrai. Sure like, Comme moi, la bonne pomme oh, qui I tue le, le boss de fin et qui ça sert à rien. Oh, wait. AJ found water. He found deep water. He found deep water. <laughs> okay. Is this the, uh, oh yeah, see, it's like, it seems smoother there to me. Anyway, I don't know if anyone else thinks it looks smoother, but. Dolphin dive. Dolphin scepter. <laughs> Now people are going to ask for, like, <laughs> dolphin armor <laughs> that can look like a dolphin and just swim around. And that's not a bad idea. No, it's not at all. <laughs> and th is that with the field of view pulled out, AJ, on the water? Uh, no, this is default. So show, show you can you can you won't drown. Just sit under the water, and and then pull the field of view out. Because I know some people had. Ah voilà, c'est ça qu'il faudrait faire. Puis tout à l'heure j'attends ça moi. Augmente ton FOV, mec. Putain. Tu es banalise. On a appris quelque chose. Oui, je vais faire un récapitulatif à la fin. There you go. Wow. Looks pretty cool. And so if you leave the water now, it should zoom back in. And then if you go back in, it's pretty cool. I like it. Extreme. More extreme. Uh oh. What it, AJ's gonna pilot field of view. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? 
bah, il montre les, les opposés. C'est pas mal. C'est pas mal, tu peux avoir différents FOV pour ce que tu fais, genre voler, combattre, enfin voler, être à terre, être dans l'eau. C'est pas mal ça. Voilà, ça va quand même affecter les, les performances du jeu hein, sur PC. Uh, question. Can we have more inventory space? Um, ah. Yeah, we're investigating that. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, inventory space isn't free on the on the back end in the database. So we're looking at anything we can squeeze out of it um, right now uh, to see what we can do. Uh, so no promises, but we're definitely definitely oh, trying because we know, especially as you explore different builds and different suits. Uh, that becomes a bigger and bigger need, uh, and you know, as the game gets older, meaning you know, in your first few hours, I don't have a whole ton of stuff I need to hang on to. Uh, but now, you know, I've I've lots of different horizontal builds I can do. So, yep. so yeah, we're definitely um, we're we're aware, we're looking into it and seeing what we can do there, for sure. Bah, well, apparemment, ils sont en train de regarder yeah, pour augmenter la cache. Like, NPC vanished. Yes, yes, it did. Um, which I don't know if we talked about it. So. Sometimes there can be different things that can cause enemies to despawn. So like when a world event pops up, um, one of the things that would happen that really sucked is if you're fighting a titan and then a world event appeared and someone else activated it, your titan would disappear. Yep. Um, but now that doesn't happen anymore. Yep, we have that fixed for this patch. Yep. Next patch, so enjoy your, your sweet titan loot. Les choses vont moins disparaître en free play. Oh, C'est sympa. That is about... And he'll be on a mission and have a very strong opinion about the patch notes. Maybe. Yes, I don't he probably will. I, I, I'm sure he will. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in. So <coughs> Donc c'est pas le 22, la mise à jour, c'est la semaine prochaine, on sait pas quand. You know what to expect in the next update. <coughs> uh, our next stream will be uh, a couple weeks probably. We're, we're trying to time it good with uh, some more cool content coming to the game. If you look at that... Uh, You know, our roadmap right now might give you some ideas of what we're going to show next time. Don't want to spoil it. You can guess what it might be. But, uh, yeah, any other parting words, Chris? Uh, enjoy. Enjoy the Elysian caches. Enjoy the legendary missions. Um, I think they're a lot of fun. So let us know, though. Let us know yeah. what you think. Keep the feedback coming. We, we're listening, and we make changes based off of uh, what everyone likes to see. We read basically everything. Everything. <coughs> I read... <laughs> Everything. Yep. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. Till thanks next time. Thanks a lot. Woohoo! Vous êtes pas fait lyncher? Bien joué. <coughs> Rien sur les stats. <coughs> Et ils ont parlé des stats vite fait. Ils ont parlé des stats vite fait. Ils ont dit que que tout était lié. Que tout était lié, genre les drops, les stats du javelin, la puissance du javelin et tout ça, et que c'était difficile à, à, à modifier et tout ça. Euh, mais ouais, ils ont... Pff, ouais. C'est pas la, la réponse qu'on attendait, je sais. Euh, mais sinon... Sur les affixes, non, ils ont pas parlé de ça. Euh, euh, la plus grosse chose qui, va, qui a sauvé le jeu, là, c'est deux choses. Tu peux pas rentrer euh, dans les forteresses, tu peux pas rejoindre après, ils ont dit quoi, 5 minutes ou 2 minutes, qu'elles soient ouvertes ou un truc comme ça. Donc c'est à dire qu'on va plus être devant un boss, c'est bien, euh, je crois que c'est le plus gros souci en ce moment et ça, ça a été résolu, c'est bien. Euh, les missions pareil, si elle est ouverte depuis plus de 15 minutes, tu peux pas la rejoindre, donc du coup on va pas pouvoir... Euh... Euh, venir à la fin, arriver à la fin, des trucs comme ça, c'est bien. Euh, donc ça, c'est les plus gros problèmes du jeu. Hein. C'est les plus gros problèmes du jeu. Donc maintenant, ça a été résolu. Eh bien, eh bien. 
ça laisse un peu de temps pour le jeu pour survivre. Et euh, après, il y a les boss maintenant qui donnent des légendaires. Euh, tu auras une chance de, de, de recevoir des légendaires quand tu tues les boss. Et c'est bien. Euh, Qu'est-ce qu'on a d'autre ah, une clé élysienne par... Euh, faut que j'évite de regarder ce que Goldo il dit parce que c'est du pur troll tout le temps, c'est horrible. Euh, on a une seule clé par jour pour ouvrir un coffre. Euh, ça c'est bien. Je pensais qu'on allait en avoir plus, mais bon, c'est une seule par jour. Euh... Non, non, maintenant les boss, même en GM1, normalement, on va avoir une chance de mettre un légendaire. Avant, avant, le problème des boss avant, c'est qu'ils étaient exclus de la table de loot des légendaires. Maintenant, ils les ont rajoutés. Donc, tu auras toujours genre un 100% orange, mais tu auras une chance de légendaire en plus. C'est ça qui est bien. Euh, Qu'est-ce qu'on a eu d'autre euh, les missions légendaires, ça a l'air d'être un peu pourri, honnêtement. Euh, je trouve ça bof. Missions légendaires, elles ont, elles ont l'air d'être un peu pourri. Euh, on va pouvoir y récupérer des braises aussi, des fois. Genre des paquets de 20 braises et tout ça, y parler un moment. Ouais, c'est bien, mais bon. Euh, Qu'est-ce qu'on a d'autre euh... Ouais... Et plein de cosmétiques et de tout ça maintenant, nouveauté. Vous en pensez quoi à part, euh, à part Goldo La forge instantanée, exact, exact. Euh, ça c'est bien, plus de... Cher du positif. Je t'emmerde Goldo. Euh, la forge instantanée sans temps de chargement, tu peux y accéder directement depuis Fort Arsis ou alors euh, une fois que tu as fini ton... ta mission. Ça c'est bien. Euh, durée du vol, mais bon, ça on s'en fout. Ouais, 10%, euh, 20% plus longtemps, tu peux rester en, à survoler. Euh... Mais ouais, moi, il ouais, ouais. euh, y a que du positif. C'est ouais, c'est non, c'est bien. C'est mieux que la dernière fois, honnêtement. Euh, c'est beaucoup mieux que la dernière fois cette mise à jour. Euh, on a du nouveau stuff. On a des nouvelles choses à faire. Euh, on a le problème des forteresses qui est réglé. Ça, c'est le plus important. Il reste plus que le problème de stats et de stats aléatoires. Alors après, ils ont parlé. Ils, ils savent que les stats, c'est la merde. Hein. Ils le savent. Ils l'ont dit en stream. Hein. Euh, ils savent que c'est un problème. Mais ils ont expliqué que... Alors les stats du javelin sont liés à la difficulté qui est liée au nombre de dégâts que tu fais, au nombre de dégâts que tu te prends, qui sont liés au drop aussi. Euh, c'est un bordel monstre. Honnêtement, c'est un bordel monstre. Je pense qu'ils ont très très mal fait leur jeu par rapport à ça. Et maintenant, ils sont dans la merde parce que tu changes un chiffre quelque part, tu déstabilises tout le jeu. Je pense que c'est ça leur problème. Et, euh, et du coup, bah, ils sont dans la merde. Ça prend énormément de temps à faire leur truc. Ça, c'est leur faute à eux, hein. Il n'y a pas vraiment à être gentil avec eux, c'est leur faute. Euh, fallait vraiment pas faire ça. ça là, c'est eux qui ont vraiment très très mal fait leur système. Mais euh, voilà, ça va, ça va se corriger au fur et à mesure, hein, dans 6 mois. Euh, faut voir quand la mage passe, il n'y aura pas d'autres problèmes. Exact, ça pour... parce que une nouvelle mise à jour sur Bioware veut potentiellement dire de nouveaux bugs. C'est limite un recodage total sur mes... les, ta... les statistiques Oui, possible. C'est pour ça que ça prend du temps, c'est pour ça qu'ils sont dans la merde. Euh, ignorez Goldo dans le chat s'il vous plaît. Si vous fait chier, vous me le dites, que je le bannisse un peu pendant un petit moment. Comme ça, ça... Comme ça, ça nous fait des vacances. Euh... Tout le monde l'a mis en ignore, c'est bien. Euh, Qu'est-ce qu'on a d'autre 
Euh... Ah oui, dans les coffres Elysiens, ils ont dit qu'il n'y aura pas de doublon. Ah, c'est bien. Ça, c'est bien. Donc, chaque jour, tu ouvres un coffre, tu auras un truc unique. Ça, c'est cool. Ça, c'est cool. Tu vas jouer et tenter de drop un légendaire Comment ça Genre les boss Bah oui, enfin quand il y aura la mise à jour, je vais y jouer encore. Euh, exact, ils ont viré les murs invisibles, la plupart apparemment. Ils ont viré la plupart des murs invisibles. Qui bloquaient surtout la forteresse des Scars. Donc c'est bien. Que du bon Que du bon Pourtant, il a raison, Golo... Non, oula, Sueno, euh, t'es nouveau Tu viens d'arriver Ok, ne jamais dire que Goldo a raison. Là, tu viens de faire une grosse erreur, mec. Ne jamais dire que Goldo a raison. Je sais que tu viens d'arriver, c'est pas de ta faute, mais c'est grave. Faut jamais dire qu'il a raison. T'imagines même pas ce qui va se passer. Non, je vais m'arrêter là, par contre. Je vais... Non, non, je vais pas continuer. C'est complètement tabou, là tu risques gros. Hein. Mais on l'aime bien tous, on, 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 je crois qu'on l'aime tous Goldo, mais quand il ne parle pas. Euh, les forteresses ont changé. Euh, oui. On a déjà parlé. Des évolutions sur les missions, des nouveaux objectifs. Il euh, y aura les missions légendaires. Pour le moment, il n'y a que ça de nouveau. Bon, il n'y a que du bon. Il n'y a que du bon, honnêtement. Sur, euh, sur la mise à jour qui va arriver, mais... Euh... Nous, on voudrait que ça soit plus, évidemment, évidemment. On voudrait que ça... Euh, Qu'il y ait plus de choses, mais... Après, le coup des cinématiques qu'on peut pas zapper sur les missions légendaires, ça, c'est débile. Honnêtement, ça, c'est vraiment un problème. Je pense que pas beaucoup de gens vont les faire. Ou alors, vous la faites une fois par jour et basta, quoi. Yes, que du bon. Euh, problème pour euh, le momentum, c'est qu'on commence à tourner en rond quand même. Euh, oui, 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 oui. Évidemment. Mais euh, ça, ça c'est comme ça. On peut pas, on peut pas changer. Il n'y a pas assez de contenu. Et ils en rajoutent au compte goutte Donc, euh, ça sera toujours le même problème. Il y a beaucoup de rumeurs sur le jeu. La plupart sont vraies, oui. Euh, mais le problème, c'est que Reddit a souvent... A souvent raison, mais il se... On va dire qu'il se concentre sur les mauvais problèmes la plupart du temps. Enfin, pas la plupart du temps, on va dire que des fois, il se concentre sur les mauvais problèmes. Donc, euh, ça rend un peu le, 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 la chose difficile pour les développeurs, je dirais. Euh, et puis après, il faut dire que là, ils sont en train, encore une fois, euh, de corriger leur jeu. Ils ne peuvent pas rajouter du nouveau contenu. Enfin, ils, ils peuvent en rajouter, mais petit à petit, ils ne peuvent pas faire un gros patch sur un truc qui est cassé. C'est pas possible de rajouter du contenu sur un truc qui est cassé, qui ne marche pas. Donc, euh, ils sont toujours en train de corriger leur jeu. Et ça, ça va prendre du mom un, un grand moment, et ça, c'est chiant. Ça, c'est vraiment chiant. Euh, je ne les défends pas. Hein. BioWare, je ne les défends pas du tout, hein, mais... Euh... Mais ils peuvent pas te rajouter du contenu euh, euh, sur un truc qui ne marche pas. Euh, C'est leur faute. Ils ont fait de la merde. Euh, et ils s'en mordent les doigts. La sortie du jeu est une catastrophe. La sortie du jeu restera une catastrophe. Le jeu ne va pas apporter plus de gens que ça. C'est fini. Le, le, le jeu a ses fans, point barre. Et le jeu n'a pas vraiment une, une, un gros public. C'est ça le truc. Euh, ignorer Goldo encore une fois, bien sûr. Ignorer Goldo. Euh, 
Mmh, la commune de Tienne a duré parce qu'il risque vraiment de dégoûter les gens. Oui, oui, non, mais même moi, même moi, le, le coup d'avoir euh, euh, bousillé les forteresses, ça m'a dégoûté. J'avais plus envie de jouer. Les forteresses sont inutiles maintenant. Tout le monde quitte, tout ça. Mais dans la prochaine mise à jour, euh, ça va être fixé, donc ça va. Il rattrape le coup, il rattrape le coup. Euh, Goldo, t'as tort. C'est super simple à dire. <rire> C'est super simple à dire. En tout cas, on va s'arrêter là. On va s'arrêter là. Euh, merci, merci à tous d'être restés pour le... Pour le live et de m'avoir écouté, d'avoir participé.